my homesteader family so it's a semi beautiful day it's only about 42 degrees out uh, they're saying today tomorrow and the next day are supposed to be cloudy with chance of rain and then once we get into next week I believe Tuesday Wednesday Thursday are the mid to upper 60s and I'm on my way to the ranch right now to see if girl pig has had babies yet but I'm also going to be stopping at one of my neighbor's places up here because he just sold his property and his house and he's got a bunch of stuff he needs cleaned up and so he's offered me a bunch of fencing and railroad ties and a culvert and stuff for free so I'm going to stop and throw some of the fencing in back in my truck and maybe the culvert and then he had to run out of town so when he gets back from out of town uh, he's got to go through and figure out what he's keeping, what he wants to get rid of. And the scrap metal that he doesn't want, I'll go ahead and fill up my trailer and haul a trailer load down to the scrap yard and help him get his property cleaned off. And like I said, in return, I'm getting some free fencing, getting some railroad ties and a culvert and who knows what else uh, as he goes through it. So I figure I'd just take you guys along for the ride because I'm not too far away from his place and then I'll get everything loaded up go over and hopefully we'll have some piggly wigglies because it's been I want to say two weeks now that girl pig has been in milk and she hasn't had babies yet so she's being a stubborn little oinker but what can I say that's what happens you never know what's going to happen with Homestead. So it would be so nice if these clouds would disappear. If the clouds would disappear, we'd be looking at some mid to upper 50s today. But these clouds are just taking over. So I'm going to go ahead and pull in here at my neighbor's uh, lot yard. And like I said, he just sold this land with his house. So he has to have all this cleaned up by April 6th. So I'll be coming over to help him get some stuff done. And so let's see if I can show you real quick. So all these rolls of fencing, I'm going to go ahead and get loaded up and haul all this fence over now most of it's three foot or less so I'll be using it for the garden bed and things like that I won't be using it for the property line because it's just too small uh, to contain the animals but once I get the farm going and get potatoes and all that type of stuff going then uh, I'll have no problem being able to make trellises and uh, fencing in certain little areas and things like that. So I'll talk to you guys later.